I wonder if something happened. Everybody's so excited. They can hardly be blamed when they've apprehended an enemy leader. That said... Yeah. Isn't there some way to calm them down? These must be the Danons the Darkwings freed. Yeah. The city might be in ruins. The people have risen from the ashes. This is the place Bayfon said Deadeim would reveal the Lord's fate. I wonder what he'll do to her. <sighs> well... Is that? Yes. It's Lord Almadria Kynaris. Please stop! No good can come of such hatred! Stop or there'll be no turning back! <laughs> Is this supposed to be justice? I did warn you, did I not? Nothing good can ever come of such nasty hatred. <laughs> I 
found you at last. I swear it. I'll make you pay for what you did to my parents! What do we have here? Could it really be the witch from Dana? <laughs> Honestly, I thought I had wiped all of you out of existence back then. I guess there was. One survivor after all. Mm. Hey, Rinwell! Shut up! This is the only thing that's keeping me going anymore! Stay out of my way or I'll kill you! Rinwell... I'll kill you. I swear it. I will kill you! What did you... Why are you defending her? I'm not really sure, you know. But when I look into your eyes, I can't let you do it. What about you? Are you not the one who got revenge for his father? Don't I deserve that as much as you? <laughs> Move aside. If you don't, then I'll blast you again. Even so... Sorry. I'm afraid that I can't let you do that. No way. I can't let you kill her. Not while your face is full of the same hatred as those people who died. <laughs> You saw what she did. What are you saying? She should just get away with it all? You're right. Rinwell. I don't know what I'm doing. But still, I know it's wrong. If you go through with this... I know you'll regret it. I'm sorry. I am. Forgive me. I can't believe you. You, of all people. Of all the people! little show quite finished. Why, you... For many years of my life, I devoted myself to the study of astral arts. But the knowledge I took from your family was truly enlightening indeed. For that you deserve a reward. I shall allow you to taste one of the fruits of my labor. Hellish compositions. That is what I do best. Now behold! La, I'm... Sorry for almost blowing me up. Hey, not like it's the first time. Come on, we need to take her down. Okay. Ready? Yeah. First strike! Right! Tell what it is! Sleep now. Glacier, go for the weak point! Dragon Shadow! Yeah. Freeze laser! Talon Hurricane! Seal. Hey! 
nowhere to be seen. Let's freaking duck it. In a bind. Back into the fray. Glacial spear. Here's the evil. Thunder party. Free blaster. Go on. Yeah. In the wind. Power it's power. Thrust. Double demon fang. Light astral Light energy. Power 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 does it. This is looking good. Dance in the wind. Air thrust. Those fire lessons. Now I'm real mad. Kill me again. I'll bring you back to the best. Where are you going? Here's the rocket show. I'll bring you back from death to best. Leave the charge on to me. Here, let me know you want. First aid. I'm on it. Now I'm in the groove. Here I go. I'm only getting Double Fang! Ignite! First strike! Double Fang! First. Here's the healing 
can't get out of this! Load this is working! Hear me, flame of fury! Burn it! Burn Great or fear, here's the evil! Take it down, thank you. Double demon fire! Away! And there goes the tail! Right, let's do this! Reload! Take this! Another ammo! ammo. It's over! I'm all stuck up! You hear it now! Get You're mine! Annihilation! You're finished! Here. Double Here. demon fang! More for the first strike! All good no. things come to an end! More than I mine! Is everyone all right? Yeah. But I'm major, it got away. Linwell, are you... What... What the hell happened here? Bayfon, is that you? Thank goodness you're okay. I've been outside the city this whole time. But I sensed a disturbance in the wind and decided to turn back. What happened here? Where is everybody? All Madria's handiwork. She allowed herself to be captured so she could rile up the Danans into a frenzy and rob them of their astral energy. She wiped out almost everyone in the plaza, including Deadheim. Deadheim's dead. Everyone. And the Darkwings. Almost all of our companions in the Resistance. How could this happen? Regardless of what she had to gain, what kind of person would do something like that? If she managed to find kinship in Kelzalik, then I'd say the very worst kind. It's clear now that she used Men and Sia as a testing ground for the fruits of Helgen, before using them here. So everything that led up to this moment was all a part of her plan. Once she knew they'd eaten enough tainted food, she just needed to get herself caught. We have to go after her. Balsif and Ganabel were horrible, but Almadria makes them look like saints. I doubt she's really gone back into hiding. We have to put an end to this, once and for all. Yeah, what she's done can't be forgiven. I... I don't know what to do. I saw what hatred did to those people, but... Hating her is the only thing that's kept me going. I can't just stop hating her. What am I supposed to do? Tell me! Smile at her from across the battlefield? Apologize while we fight her? I don't know if I can do that. Rinwell. Nobody can understand what you've been through. We can't even begin to imagine the pain you've experienced. But if hate is what has kept you going ever since that day, then let it be your strength. However, think about this. When you've had your revenge, when we've beaten Almadria, then what will you do? Huh? I'm saying you're going to have to find a way to survive once that hatred is gone. When it is, what do you plan on doing then? I don't... I don't know. I've never thought about it before. Almadria's death doesn't have to be your end too. You need a reason to live, Rinwell, not an excuse to die. Understand? 
She's right. We could never truly know the pain that Almadria has caused you. But I think you should listen to Xion. Give yourself time to consider things. And if it's too much right now, it's okay for you to sit this one out. No. My head might be a mess right now. But I'm not letting you fight Almadria without me. I need to be there. Please. That much I do know. I'm going with you. And on the road, I'll... I'll think about it. A reason to live. Without hate. That said, it'll be no good chasing after her blind with no idea where she went. Bayfon, do you have any ideas where she might have gone? I can't say for sure. But west of here is an underground harbor along a cliff near the coast. She spent years building a ship there. A floating fortress that she called her castle on the sea. No one quite knew why she wanted the thing. But now... Of course. She's already effectively destroyed her own capital. It's likely she planned to abandon her realm as well. Right. That's as good a lead as any. Let's go. What's that woman going to do next? Nothing good, I'll bet. We'll stop it this time. <laughs> Looks like we made it here in one piece.
Have you guys checked your equipment lately? There are still so many creatures we don't know about. Have you been writing stuff down about what we fight? Yep. It's actually pretty fun to observe them from afar. Dohalim, your spare bracers were getting dirty, so I polished them up along with the rest of your equipment. Why, thank you, Kisara. I greatly appreciate that. Maybe it's just my imagination, but you sure seem to fuss over Dohalim a whole lot, Kisara. It is a little strange. Almost like you're still in his service. Really? That's certainly not my intention. Besides, he's not the only one I'm like that with. Hey, Law? I saw your clothes were starting to get holes in them, so I stitched them back up for you. Oh, wow! Thanks, Kisara! Point taken. Do you just like looking after people? I wouldn't go so far as to say I like it, but I get anxious if I don't. I'd always like to help if I can. It comes naturally to me. Back in the day, Miguel and I used to look after the younger kids a lot, so that's probably where it comes from. He taught me everything I know, and I mean everything. How to cook with wild plants, how to sew clothes so they'll last. Without him, we never would have been able to survive. However, you're not a lord anymore, Dohalim. You need to get used to the idea that people aren't just going to wait on you hand and foot. Yes, you're absolutely right. I'm ashamed to admit that I felt no qualms about her doing all that for me. As both a Renand and especially as a Lord, one becomes too accustomed to those beneath you tending to your every need, both Renans and Danans alike. Sure, that's how all you Renans are probably raised. But just to be clear, we're not your servants, Dohalim. Got that? Absolutely. Moments such as this provide me with ample opportunity to confront my unease. It is difficult to tend with my own motivations. What do you mean? The truth of the matter is that my espousal of coexistence in Menencia hardly came from an idealistic place. That instinctive unease I feel deep within serves as a reminder for what it is that I, that all of us here, fight for. Don't be so hard on yourself. No one's going to abandon you if you aren't always perfect. Looking at her now, I think she's more like his mom than his servant. Hmm. What's up, Kisara? You look concerned. Uh, oh, no, it's just... I'm looking at our finances, and they seem to have taken a nosedive. I don't remember us making any big purchases, though. Ah, that may be because I borrowed a small amount to purchase something the other day. I don't think you can call spending more than half of our money a small amount. Half? Dohalim, what the hell did you buy? As it so happens, I came upon a rather special object that I've long been searching for. Are you talking about that junk? Uh, I mean, that uh, unique-looking trinket you're holding? Whoa, is that a... Indeed. It is a lost artifact from ancient Danon times. Most likely, it was used for some sort of rite or ritual. Ever since we Renans conquered Dana, such objects have been disappearing. I simply want to do my part to help preserve both our people's storied histories. Well, if it's to preserve Dan and history, then I guess we can maybe look the other way. Just this once? I don't know. Why spend money on something that won't even keep us fed? More to the point, we all contribute to that money. I don't like the thought of anyone dipping into it without saying anything. You must understand. Had I let that opportunity pass me by, I'd never have come across this item again. Dohalim, maybe no one taught you that money doesn't grow on trees. I may have been a lord, but I realize that much. It's not enough to simply realize it. You have to internalize the concept too. Even after all this time, you still have no real sense of money. Our funds aren't your personal wallet. We camp outside and eat grass for dinner to try and stretch every last gold we have. You never know when we may need it. Uh, I don't think we're so poor that we have to eat grass or any... Shut up, Alfin. Shutting. Let's just agree to not spend too much or be too thrifty for our own good. I still can't believe what that Almadria did. 
Not only that, but she was enjoying it. It's patently clear she has no respect for human life whatsoever. We need to take her out. I don't think I've ever felt so enraged at another person in my whole life. Yeah! There's no way she's getting away with this! Then we head for the underground docks. We need to hurry. Rinwell, can you keep moving? Y yeah <laughs> That was nothing. Rinwell, mind if we chat a little? I noticed you haven't been training Huda lately. Is he doing okay? Yeah, he's fine. He's been catching fish with Kisara, and he seems to be adjusting his diet on his own, so I'm not as worried as before. Maybe that's his way of pitching in, so you don't have to do everything for him. Yeah, maybe. I guess at some point he started taking a shine to everyone too. Just like they did to him. You sound like you're okay with that. Yeah. More than okay, really. It feels... natural having Hoodle and everyone around. I know what you mean. We all support and take care of each other in our own ways. It's starting to feel like we're almost a family. Huh. I hadn't thought of it like that. So does that make you everybody's dad? Do I really look that old to you? Huh? You don't like that? Okay, how about you be the big brother? Shion is the big sister. And Kisara can be our mom! Well, then how about Dohalim for the dad? I don't really get that kind of vibe from Dohalim. He's more like an uncle. An old uncle, who's too preachy and snarky for his own good sometimes. And as for Law... Hmm... Well, Hoodle took the little brother role, and Law's definitely, definitely not the dad. Hmm... This is hard. Oh! Law can be the pet dog! A dog? Do dogs really count as part of a family? Of course they do. If an owl can be part of our family, so can a dog. <laughs> when you think about it like that, we have a pretty fun family. Yeah, a pretty big one as well. That's why I like it so much. I wish we didn't have to do anything dangerous. I just want to keep traveling the world with you guys the way we are right now. You okay? Uh, oh, it's nothing. <laughs> Actually, I think I'm gonna go practice with Hoodle for a bit. We should really get some rest. <sighs> I want to go back to bed. Since there's an owl around here. I see plenty of ruins around here, too. There must have been a big yeah. town bustling with people back in the day. For crown cool. contest participants, places such as these are but vectors for the astral energy they... An opponent like this should be easy. Right mine. Far enough! In here! Talon 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 this Lightning! Double Double Say no more! Mega Ray! I'm all stuffed up! Double Demon Fang! 
No further! Thunderfield, oh, now! <sighs> There's always room for improvement. I think this is one of the places where the Dark Wings and Almadria fought. I wouldn't be so sure. This place appears more ravaged by time than combat. That, even if there are signs of destruction. I've got a really bad feeling about this! Burning! Glacial Steel! Nothing! I'm not so good with airborne targets! Can you take care of them? No sooner said than done. Swallow blade! It's too fast! Stand back. I'll trip it up. Double demon I owe you one. You require a no further! Now! This is it! Lightning orb! Do it! Shattering of Demon Spears! Here's I need to be stronger. You guys want to rest here? I hope we manage to catch Almadria soon. I hope so too. Before she can cause any more havoc. <laughs> you okay, Rinwell? Oh, uh, yeah. Don't push yourself too hard now, okay? Okay. Thanks. <sighs> oh, Hoodle. I don't know what to do. My family and I, we spent all of our days just living and hiding. Until... Until one day when we were found and attacked. I was the only one my dad and the others hid. That's the reason I survived, while the rest of my family was butchered. The only thing that I could see was the crest of a lord glowing through the smoke. And then... and then... It was Almadria who did it. Oh. I'm sorry, Rinwell. That woman... Did she really find the existence of Dan and Mages to be that much of a threat? Enough to invade another lord's territory? No, I doubt that. Most likely, she was after their knowledge and techniques. She only did it so she could become stronger. That's the kind of woman she is. In retrospect, I do remember her making it sound like she created that monster she summoned. A monster? I wonder, do you all think of me as a monster? Because I'm able to use magic even though I'm Danon? Renwell. Of course we don't think you're a monster, you dummy. Huh? I might have had to hold you back, but it's her fault any of this ever happened, not yours. Got it? Ah. This looks perfect. Guaranteed to hit the spot. I'll see you again tomorrow. I think we've rested long enough. Let's keep moving. A dead end? No, there's an elevator. It looks operational.
I can't believe there's actually an underground harbor here. There are even boats docked. I only see Danids. Think they were forced to work here? Probably. Let's see what they have to share about Almadria. What's this thing? You didn't happen to see a lord come by, did you? Sorry, friend, but she just left. Came by with a whole posse of underlings, boarded her ship, and took off at first wind. We damn near got blown away. She was that much in a hurry. Damn! So we missed her! You guys trying to go after her? Need a ride? Are you saying you know how to steer a ship? Spent most of my life chained to the deck of some ship or other. Yeah, I know my jib from my boom. We don't know how dangerous it'll be. Better you give us the boat and stay on solid ground. Whoa there! You have been out on the water before? The sea ain't nobody's friend, you know. You need a sea dog like me or you'll sink her before she makes it out the harbor. We're losing time, sir. We're in your debt. Now that's more like it. Name's Mahavar. Just give me a holler when you're all set and we'll set sail. This is like a dream come true. Never gotten a captain a ship before. Never would have thought I'd get a chance like this. Thank you, y'all. The pleasure's all ours. Think we'll catch up to her? Of course we will. They got too much weight on them. Meanwhile, this ship's carrying nothing but us salty scalawags. They got a good head start on us, but we can take them. Do you know if there are any Danons on that ship? Couldn't say for sure. On the one hand, seeing as it's supposed to be something of another castle, I'd reckon they probably wouldn't let a bunch of Danons on board. On the other hand, I'd be real surprised if the Renans were able to pilot that thing all by themselves. In any case, it's gonna be a while before we reach her. Until then, you're all free to do whatever. Just don't fall in the ocean. I know Mahavar said we could take it easy, but... There's not exactly a lot to do on this boat. I guess I'll check in on everyone and see how they're holding up. Hold that pose long enough and someone might just come along and paint you. Any artist who'd see fit to paint me needs their eyes tested. What can you tell me about Almadria? Not as much as you'd probably wish. I only ended up crossing paths with her a handful of times, after I was chosen to be a lord on Lenigus. Ah, oh, right. I almost forgot about Lenigus. How much do you think they know about what's been going on down here? It's safe to assume they know everything. Though I know not why they choose to remain uninvolved. Perhaps they see what's been happening as just part of the ongoing crown contest. Even what Almadria did? Has it really reached the point where her actions are seen as normal? Not to my knowledge, no. 
At its core, the Crown Contest is a competition to see who can amass the most astral energy. And to amass such energy, slaves are needed to collect it from. It's therefore against the Lord's interest to kill them. So then why would Almadria do something like that? We must remember that time is running out in the Crown Contest. Perhaps her hand was forced, so to speak. It is a way to accrue astral energy faster and in larger quantities than through slave labor. Doing so kills off that labor force, obviously. But it is a means to an end, nonetheless. No one could have foreseen that something like the Hollowing would arise back when the contest was first conceived. Is becoming the Sovereign of Rena really that important to the Lords? Of course. It's the greatest prize one can attain in their eyes. In that respect, at least, I'm really not that surprised that Almadria resorted to what she did, as utterly despicable as it is. It's reassuring to hear you feel the same way I do. I worry that the only reason I never did anything similar in Menencia was due to my lack of ambition. If you didn't want to be reminded of your past, you could have just plugged your ears. You think too highly of me. I'm afraid I must respectfully disagree. I'm not nearly as virtuous of a person as you might wish to believe. If that's so, would you have been so shaken up when Kisara lost her brother? Why else would you turn your back on your own kind and choose to fight for Megal's dream? Aren't we just Danans? A curious choice of words. Did what you see in Mahog Sar hit you that hard? What Dead Eim did to that city? He didn't liberate anyone. Anyone who refused to follow him was an enemy in his eyes. Three hundred years of Renan rule taught him nothing. What I have come to understand is that the conflict extends beyond Danon versus Renan. There is an internal quarrel as well. I mean to bring about a true, lasting coexistence in Menencia. But there are more walls we must topple first. And you don't think you can pull it off? Well... You seem to think you can, at least. Does that make us enemies? Insofar as an exchange of swordplay, no, it doesn't. Not good enough for you? Are you really... <sighs> Forgive me. I will continue to fight by your side a while longer. That much I have decided. I took a look around inside the ship just in case, but I didn't find anything that looked like it might be suspicious. Thanks. I appreciate it. You know, it wasn't until I left Calaglia that I finally realized just how big the world is. When we tore down the wall in Calaglia, and I could finally see the horizon in the far-off distance, I had the exact same thought. Yeah, somehow the sea is different, though. I'm not sure just how to put it. It's almost as if it just... goes on forever. I bet my old man would have been blown away by this view. Yeah. Ever since he died, I've been thinking about what it was that he was really trying to say to me at the end. I keep going over his words again and again. And heck, maybe I'm just overthinking it all. But still, sometimes I wonder if it could have turned out differently. If there was something I could have done. But no matter how much I play it back, I'm still no closer to finding any answers. And then there's everything with Rinwell. I stopped her from killing Almadria, but was that really the right thing to do? Or did I just end up making things harder for her? I feel like such a screw-up. You're not the only one. I keep asking myself what Zephyr would have done had he been here. Like I think, how would Zephyr have handled Rinwell? Yeah, I think he definitely would have stopped her. No doubt about it. And that's exactly what you did, Law. I think he'd be really proud of you. Alfin. Zephyr's not the worst yardstick to measure ourselves against. Let's both do our best to make him proud. Sounds like a deal. Thanks, Alfin.
look so good. Are you all right? The floor. It keeps moving. How can you stand it? How can you even stand? I'm not the best person to ask about discomfort. I can't feel pain, remember? I still can't believe what happened in Niez. Even now. As a lord, my expectations for Almadria were already pretty low. But the way she treated human lives like they're mere playthings. Yeah. And it wasn't as if the situation in Niaz was improving much to begin with. You mean dead I'm. The whole reason I started fighting back was because of my anger at the atrocities of Renan rule. Back then, all I had to worry about was fighting the Renans for the sake of the Danans. But then I met Shion and the people of Menencia, and things became a lot more complicated. It's even messier now that we have to worry about Danans like Deadeim. It used to be that the Danans were the ones in the right, and the Renans were the ones in the wrong. Though, maybe that was just a biased perspective from being on the side of the oppressed. Exactly. I'll never tolerate the Renans ruling over us, but nothing ever ends up being as black and white as you'd expect it to be either. That's clear to me now. That said, even putting aside bad apples like Deadeim for a moment, you may be able to free the Danon people, but that won't undo 300 years of oppression. It'll be hard for them to not give in to their resentment. I think maybe that's why I clung to our dream so hard back in Menencia. Even if his motivations weren't pure, Doalim has a good heart. He didn't sink to the depths Almadria did. You don't understand. I'm saying that it goes deeper than that. This hierarchy we live in? It's not solely something the Renans invented. I remember a story Rinwell once told me. She said before the Renans invaded, we Danans had our own class system. We are the ones who divided ourselves. I saw it in Deadeim's eyes. He wanted to rule over others. To hear Bayfon tell it, Deadeim wasn't always that way. But as time went on, and he and the Darkwings fought the Renans, he eventually changed. I guess what I'm getting at is, if we defeat the Renans but just go back to the way things were before, was there even any point in fighting? But that world isn't the one you want to create, right? Maybe not. But to tell you the truth, these days I'm not so sure that dream is even possible. You have your promise to Megal, though. Your home and the people of Menencia are depending on you. I know. My brother. He truly believed in his dream of coexistence. And I suppose, even now, many people still do. And then, there's you. Who, me? You and Xion. <clears throat> I'm not sure I follow. Okay, then let me spell it out for you. How many other Renans and Danans do you know that get on as spectacularly as the two of you? I don't know that I'd say spectacularly. Well, I suppose it's really all a matter of how you look at it, isn't it? I really don't see what you're getting. I think I'm getting seasick again. Sorry. Can you just give me a wide berth for a few minutes, 